Okay, everyone, it's me again. Later, it's later at night, it's like around like 8 30 or so here in Texas. Um, this is my third and final inbox review. Now, this kit I put on layaway too, and I paid it off when I finally did. But this kit cost me. With taxes, $67. All right. This one I didn't get no deal on. I don't know why I didn't get no deal on it, but I guess it was because, uh, probably because some someone else was setting up the uh, thing for me. So um, I guess uh, kind of stinks that uh, that happened. But uh, whatever. I guess in words, shit happens. I guess. Or did I or did I get a deal and I just did I got it at the very end? Let me look. I gotta look at my receipts. Uh yeah. Pretty much uh Yeah, pretty much uh, I I didn't get no deal. So alright, whatever. This is the one kit that I didn't get a deal on. I got a kit a deal on all the other ones, but I don't know. So as always, drink your water, keep up your health. It's actually kind of good. The more water you drink, the uh, your kidneys get your kidneys work less, and well, don't work that hard because you're cleaning them out and your liver too. So it's actually kind of good. So let's get to this inbox review. All right. So let me get this out of here. All right. So. I'm going to stand up for this one because uh, it's actually uh, a pretty big kit. But this is the inbox review for the Ravel Level 5 JU-188A2. Alright, so obviously we all know that Germany was always experimenting with trying to get better aircraft, this and that. And this is basically a JU-88 airframe, but with the whole nose reconfigured for reconnaissance and stuff and bombing and torpedo like always. Now, there was one that I read in the little uh, descriptions that they have. They say that there is there was one that was found to have one wing... That was being replaced, but it had no, these were removed. So the only thing we could think they could say is that they removed those to make it faster and lighter. So, all right. So let's get down to looking over everything. All right. Okay. So here's the instructions. They're, oh, that's weird. The instructions say level four, but the box says level five that's interesting isn't it so i'm wondering if they never updated their instructions uh, who knows so but uh from what i was told when i was buying this kit from dibbles hop dibbles hobbies again another kit i bought from them that this was Ravel. i guess took the old dragon kit and they took it in and redid it so all right all right your basic tools tool section instructions that they give you your certain uh you know they give you everything is in english and some of it is in other languages all your different languages now what i did for the next page if i can get the page to actually turn all right, so what I did here, obviously they give you all your little indications of what each and every thing is. But what I did here is I highlighted every single color that was in English. Everything else is not in English. It's in different languages like French, German, you know, typical, everything. So that's what I did here for myself. So when I go to build this kit, I know exactly what colors I'm using. But you got your color call outs, you got your uh, percentage of mixing, 
uh, there are a lot of sprues in this kit. So, lots of sprues in the kits, but not a lot of decals. So uh, you have your sprue break, you have your sprue breakdowns where it tells you uh, there's one B, there's two R's, there's two F's, there's two uh, whatever those are. That doesn't even have a designation. And then there's two D's. So, all right. Uh, then you have your one A, your one G, which is clear parts, your one J, which is clear parts. Uh, then you have your K, and then you have your C, then you have your L. Now the really neat thing about it is it came with Photo Edge. So that's going to be pretty fun to play with. But here's the instructions. Don't mind the X-Acto knife and the pen sitting on the side. But there's all your instructions. I will, when I build this model, I'll let you guys know if Revell made any boo-boos again with decals like I showed you in the tornado So the instructions look pretty easy to follow. <clears throat> There's not really that much to do to it. This is the this is what you have to make for a decision if you want to do a regular um the regular 188 or you want or you want to find the one or you want to do the one that had the missing uh the turn on top. So but yeah, see they give you the option you can put the turn in. Or you could leave it empty because that's the one that was found that had the the wing. So it's it's really your decision on what you want to do, or if you want to like if what you want to do is like if you want to do it without with the wing fully painted and put it as if it didn't go in for maintenance because it could have been a modification that they did in the field to make everything go faster, faster, higher, lighter. You can do more stuff with it. All right, so here it is, the uh, JU-188A2-3EHK. Now here's the description that it gives you. It says uh, JU-188A2-3E plus HK was delivered as a standard A2 variant, including the 20 millimeter MG-151 in the top turn and the nose glazing. It is assumed that in order to make the aircraft lighter and though faster for its intended pathfinder role, the turret and the 20 millimeter gun in the nose were removed. Without its defensive armament, 3EHK was photographed in uh, Messebrook. Mes in October of 1944, undergoing a change of the damaged left wing. If you want to build 3EHK without the turret, use the clear part J5 to cover the cavity. Now here's what it is. Now here it is. So obviously you can see that you can see that this that the uh, 3E was basically all black at the bottom, but then when you look because they changed out the wing skin with another aircraft, it was there's it's there's that light blue. And then you have here you have here you have the, the design that they had on it and then there's the there's the changed out wing. So you could do that one or you could do the next page. Come on. I hate when I can't seem to turn these pages. There we go. Or you could do this one. So, 
that's pretty self-explanatory on that. And then there's nothing on the page. Oh, obviously. Oh, notes. Note paper. So, um, it came with, obviously, the normal instructions. You know, be safe. Everything. When you build. There's the, there's the, the, the decals. Very crisp. You can feel that they are a little on the raised side. So, you might have to sand them down if you want to get a nice, neat kind of thing. They were printed in 2020 because this kit came out in 2020 and printed in Italy but they were designed by House of Phantom so I'm a little I never heard of that company before so if any of you guys know about that company please let me know in the comments below all right so some of the uh, parts that are given are right here I will show you these parts and all the crisp panel lines So, look at that, it's a lot of parts. Plus also, a lot of them are mentioned, if you look at it, see how it says JU-188? Well, if you look, if you go through, you can actually see some of them actually say JU-88 on them. So, you're probably going to have the same parts as in this kit if Ravel came out with a uh, 88 you probably have the same uh, parts so see it right here right there see it ju88 these are ju88 parts so let me just take this bag put the bag over here so I don't mix up the pots the pots man the pots All right, so let's try this again. Um, I my uh, phone got filled up, so we're gonna see if I can continue this. So obviously, this is another Ju88 part. All right. So this is Ju88 parts right here. You can see the crisp lines. They got some good lines to it. I like I like how it's looking. I believe I did build a JU-88. Yeah, I did build a JU-88 a long time ago that it got destroyed by a couple of cats uh, uh, from Cyber Hobby. So, but yeah, look at that. That's some nice panel line. I'm going to say uh, this would be a good, this would be a fun kit to play with. Or build. Oh, wrong way. So... The second sprue is the same, but it's landing gear and uh, props. Uh, basic ordnance bombs. So, and then uh, they give you they give you the choice of doing a uh, Ju88 canopy right there. You can do the Ju88 canopy or you can, but obviously this is the one that we're going to be doing with because this is the JU-188 parts for the clear canopy. So, and I don't really see a seam line in any of them, so I'm really happy about that. So, yeah, um, I mean, that's pretty much it. I mean, the kit's really, I like how the kit looks. So, we'll, uh, let's stop it there. So, all right, everyone, that was the final, uh, that was the inbox review of the Junkers Ju 188A2 from Ravel and 148 scale. And there are my three inbox reviews I just gave you guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. All right. So that was the end of that. I showed you the last the last uh, video. You see the uh, my three inbox reviews sitting on my bed. Um, thanks for watching, first of all. Uh, oh, and I forgot one thing. It comes with Photo Edge. I forgot to put that in the, the box while I'm it. I better not lose that. But it does come with Photo Edge. That's the Photo Edge for that kit. Um, I've got a neat little tip for you guys that I I learned from another uh, modelist that she uh, she does Gundams, and she was always saying how she couldn't. She kept on forgetting. She could. She was always looking for okay that sprue is A, that sprue is B. 
So, I don't know if any of you guys already knew it already, but she showed me that you use these. Mark on them. If A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, P, Q, R, S. Excuse me. Not in all your ABCs. <sighs> um, uh, but, yes. Uh, label them. If you label them, you can find the the sprue really fast because then you can see where they're at. So uh, I did that with the tornado. That helped out a lot since that tornado had so many parts. Um, but again, thank you for watching the video. Uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, if like the video if you liked it. That would be great, uh, but subscribe to my channel, get other subscribers to come to my channel, and uh, let's uh, enjoy building models and stuff, so uh, support local, always support your local hobby shop, uh, if you're looking for one in Connecticut, there's HQ Hobbies, that's on uh, Anderson Avenue in Milford, Connecticut, so support him, you could also find him online at hqhobbies.com. Uh, if you're in San Antonio, we have both um, Hill Country Hobbies on Bandera Road. He sells some really good models, and we also have uh, Dibbles that's on Donaldson Avenue. Uh, those are the two hobby shops that I know of that are really good. Uh, I haven't really found any good ones yet up in Fort Worth area, but I mean, everyone that's up up in Fort Worth area is mostly Hobby Town USA so you know, we all know that they have they don't really care too much about model kits they care more about their RC stuff all right guys so I'll see you all later uh, remember stay safe stay healthy drink water um, maybe if you want you could cut into a little bit of soda if you want just don't overdo it um, or beer, whatever you want to do, whatever your partake is. Your poison, pick your poison. That's the way I always heard it. So, uh, yep, stay safe, stay healthy, keep following on, and uh, have a great day. Have a great night, actually, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.